Hi guys, me again. Oh, so I don't believe this. So in uh, my video I mentioned that I was feeling poorly, my dad was feeling poorly, my son was feeling poorly and then um, for New Year's we would go up to Manchester to see my auntie and uncle and I always do it, I always test us before we go up there, um, do a Covid test. And so I tested me and my son yesterday because everybody's got this flu, everybody's got it and um, bad cough, feeling rubbish and I thought that's really what I had anyway, did the test yesterday and came back I'm positive for Covid again. Oh. I've only just got over the last lot, I can't believe it. Anyway, went downstairs, tested my dad because he's got this cough as well. And he came back positive. So, it's the first time for my dad to get it. And I honestly, honestly believed um, that what I had was this virus that was going around and not COVID again. Because I didn't think you could get it. I knew you could get it more than once, but I was I was told at least you can't get it twice in less than three months, and um, it hasn't even been two months yet. Well, maybe it has been two months since I had it the last time. So anyway, my dad hasn't been too good today, um, but by tonight he was feeling better, and then I was feeling fine all day. But by tonight, I am feeling rubbish. The pain in the side of my head, ugh. But yeah, I'm just so gutted. So we won't be going anywhere. We're self-isolating. Um, my son is negative, but he only tested positive for one day last time. He tested positive on the Tuesday, and on the by the Wednesday he was negative, but he was negative on the Monday as well. Anyway, so I don't know what's going on with him. Uh, so I have been keeping myself busy, I've been relaxing, drinking lots of tea, drinking lots of water, um, oh, all that food I've made, I am so, so chuffed that I made that food. Anyway, I have been trying to keep myself positive, um, things are moving with the house, so the scaffolding is up. The skips have arrived, the guys are going to start the roof, they're going to insulate up there so if it does freeze the pipes, there's a chance that the pipes won't freeze um, before they can be fixed and changed at the end of January. Um, yeah, it's all going on, it's all going on. Um, so that's that's a good positive note and um, then I thought, oh, cheer myself up and, and start making stuff. This is like the time of year. I never make New Year's resolutions because I just put too much pressure on myself and I end up breaking them and then I get really disheartened. So I don't make any New Year's resolutions but this time of year it just spurs me on to keep going and motivates me to keep going and think of great new ideas. So um, one thing that I do and um, I have been doing for a few years now is I make my own like dish cloths. I also use these like unpaper towels and what I do is I get an old towel and I cut it up and I get a pretty piece of fabric and I just sew them together. I love making them. I, I usually got a few on the go. Um, and what I do is I use them as dishcloths and paper towels then when they start getting a bit like grubby I start using them for cleaning and then when they get really past it I chop them up and put them in the compost. These ones I've had for a while now I started making them about three years ago and I've just added to them so yeah I think I've got usually about 12 on the go um, but I've had to chuck a few of them because um, they just get yucky after a bit. Um, these ones now are turning into cleaning ones. Um, so I want some that I can use every day and have them out and they look pretty. Um, so because I'm not feeling very well, I've just used scraps of fabric that I had already cut up 
um, so um, it was just easier using them and then cutting um, the towel around it. These towels I've had for about eight years now. I got them from my studio catalogue and I got some from my dad as well. And it was a really good deal, it was too good to be true. And when they came, they were the thinnest towels ever. They were very long, but not very wide. Um, yeah, not very wide. Um, they were just really odd shapes. Anyway, I used them for a while, and then um, they started like getting really super thin. So I thought, oh, they'd be perfect to make into dish cloths. So that is what I have done. So I've done four of these. I've cut. I cut a load up and when I'm feeling in between feeling better I'm going on the sewing machine and sewing them um, so yeah I just wanted to show you how pretty they were I've got that one and I've got that one and I'm going to do some extra because my dad loves a nice dish cloth as well so he's going to have a few of these and um, yeah, like I said, I use them for like paper towels and stuff like that. Um, and that's how I, do, I don't buy um, paper towels usually. Um, oh, the one I've got here now, my dad bought me ages ago. I think it was like last year. Yeah, it was last year when we went camping. After lockdown, we could go camping again. Um, he bought me that because he thought it'd be handy to have, which it was, and I've still got it because I use stuff like this. So yeah, that is what I have been doing to cheer myself up, making myself something pretty. It's so easy. I just have a square of fabric, and then I cut it out roughly. Look how bad that is. Not even straight. I just cut around the fabric, and I sew it together. You can hand sew it even. It's just so easy and, and great and it hasn't cost me anything. Bit of time. I've also started making another crochet blanket and so I got this um I got this yarn from a charity shop and um the one by my son's school that's really good and I think it was like a pound for a bundle and I started making some dragon scale gloves with it um, it's really really small thin yarn um, so it's really hard to do but I found it really good for making this blanket so that's what I have been doing and it's a colour changing yarn look at those colours Aren't they beautiful? I'm just so chuffed with them. They're just lovely, lovely colours. Look at that. And the pattern's really easy as well. And then um, my sister-in-law was saying that her cousin is expecting a baby. And I was like, oh, I'll make you a blanket. Because um, I don't know what's going on. There's like these little black flies coming from everywhere. I don't know if it's because I've had to leave the hatch open in the attic um, to try and dry it out but um, there's these little black flies everywhere it's either that or I've got something wrong with my blood blood pressure mm. yeah so my sister-in-law said her cousin is expecting a baby so I said like, oh I'll make a blanket and this really is very simple and very quick my brain's all over the place Oof. So yeah, that's where I'm at at the moment guys, Covid again, oh, can't believe it, can't believe it, just on top of everything else, you know, just to chuck that in there as well, typical isn't it, absolutely typical, never mind, never mind, I will get over this, um, I'm going to drink my tea, go on the sofa and feel sorry for myself, my son is busy building Lego that he got for Christmas um, and we're going to watch a movie on the telly and I'm just going to do some crocheting and relax and just chill out oh, yeah, and feel proper sorry for myself. <laughs> <laughs>
no, come on, keep going. Oh, I'm finding it hard, guys. I'm finding it hard at the moment to find the motivation to keep going. Just want to sit in a corner and cry. Hi, guys, and me again. So it is New Year's Eve, and um, I thought instead of making like a, lots of little videos, I would just put it all into one because I've been feeling up and down, up and down. Anyway, so yeah, I'm just gonna add this to that one so it's gonna be a little bit longer. Sorry about that, guys. I'm drinking Bailey's. It is, it's 20 past four <laughs> and I'm having a Bailey's. Mmm. So, it is New Year's Eve. I've given myself a phone talking to, I've kicked myself at the butt and I've told myself, come on, no more. Feeling sorry for yourself, let's go. This morning I had a rude wake-up call at half past seven in the morning and I had a delivery on, what day is Saturday, Friday? On Thursday evening I ordered some chicken manure, fertiliser pellet things. Now I usually get mine in seven kilogram buckets from Wilco's and they're usually five pounds. Then they went up to six, then they went up to seven, and when I went in there before Christmas, they'd gone up to nine pounds, and I thought, I'm not paying that. No way. Anyway, I get my seed potatoes around this time of year so I can start um, shitting them. I get them from a company in Scotland called, I think it's Jameson Brothers. I know it's J Brothers, but I'm not sure what the J bit stands for. And um, I love growing Lady Crystal potatoes. The slugs love them as well. But oh, they are so gorgeous. They're an early um, salad, well, they're a first early potato. And oh, they are just gorgeous. They are beautiful. And um, I get them from there every year. And they had some chicken manure there as well. And I thought, oh, cause they're massive bags. I didn't think they would deliver them. Anyway, a 20 kilogram bag of chicken fertiliser, I think it's six times um, the brand is called, and it was £20 for a 20 kilogram bag. So, oh, well worth it because 14 kilos in Wilco's works out as 18. So for 21 kilograms in Wilco's, it would be like 27 pounds. And I got free delivery. Amazing, so yay. Got some chicken manure, because I really think my garden needs it. Well, my allotment needs it. Um, so I've got that, and then I've had another delivery. So my slow cooker, unfortunately, has gone. Um, it was here, the kettle went kettle got damaged by the water and then I had my slow cooker here water went in it damaged it gone um, and for Christmas my dad gave me some money because he didn't know what to get me so he gave me some money and told me I could do what I want with it then I could get what I want so I ordered a slow cooker now then my sister came just before Christmas and her husband has just bought her one and she said the, the dishes were a little bit smaller than she thought they would be um, but she absolutely loved hers and I thought great I'm going to do it I have been looking at them for ages but I had my slow cooker so that I didn't think there was any point getting another slow cooker just because it had three little compartments so yeah um, I have replaced it with this and the dishes are teeny tiny they are small they are a lot small but that would be plenty for three people and that means I can do three different dishes when I'm doing my batch cooking I even got the spoons with it when I'm doing my batch cooking um, so yeah love it I just got to find somewhere to put it now I'm not gonna leave it out I'm gonna find a nice little handy hole for it to put it in safe and that was 44 99 so I'm very chuffed with that. So tonight me and my son are going to have a bit of a pamper night. I've dyed my hair, I've straightened it, I used, um, put a hair mask on it, um, tinted my eyebrows. Oh, I use the same tint, I use the same make, everything, the same colour and I've used it for years, no problem. Used it today and I've had a bit of an allergic reaction, it's kind of 
burnt my skin a little bit. So I don't know if it's because, I just don't know. I don't know. Maybe my skin's feeling a little bit more sensitive today. I don't know. Anyway, you can't really tell now. It's gone down a bit. Um, but later on, we're going to be having takeaway and we're going to have face masks. We're going to watch a film. I'm uh, going to open a bottle of bubbly and probably have a little buck's face because I got a bottle of Prosecco for Christmas off my neighbour. Yay! <coughs> oh, can't get rid of my cough. Still coughing, but I'm hoping um, this nice Bailey's will get rid of it. And I know it seems large, but I um, I water it down a bit with milk, or I calm it down a bit with milk. So yeah, even though we haven't been able to go away this year, and it's a little bit different, it feels like we're back in lockdown because we can't see anybody. I'm not a massive fan of New Year's anyway. So that is what our plan is tonight, is to have a bit of a pamper night, yay! And some takeaway, yay! And remember of all the good things that I've got to look forward to and it's a new year, it feels like a fresh start and um, things are moving with the flat, it's drying out, it could have been so much worse. And so yeah. We're going to be positive going into the new year. So I will be back later. Hi guys, me again. So we've had our takeaway and it was really, really good. And um, I got a crispy, we had Chinese, and I got a crispy beef in sweet and sour, thinking it wouldn't be as spicy as the normal crispy beef, but it was. The mouth's on fire. Anyway. I've topped up my Baileys and um, now we are going to have a face mask on and some pampering, we're going to watch a film, we're going to have a game of Cluedo, um, yeah so it's all go here, um, I've had these for a while, I think my son got these in his stocking last Christmas and I got these as a gift as well, so there is a, a clay blueberry face mask and there's an avocado one and then there's these ones alpaca leopard and a fox and I think my son's gonna go for the leopard and I might try one of these but I don't know because my um my skin is really dry and I'm sure um clay is for like greasy oily skin I'm not sure so I'll have a look anyway so that is what we're gonna do so I just wanted a toast quickly to the new year mm. so cheers guys and happy new year and I will see you next year bye